What's good everybody? I am back. I've been gone for a little while. Um, family stuff and I've been doing a lot of recording too. So I just kind of got sidetracked and I didn't make any new videos. But I'm here now. So today I'm going to answer that question. What's the best mic for hip hop and R&B music? And that answer is I have no clue because I don't know how you want your music to sound. Basically it's like this. You can have the best mic in the world or the most expensive mic in the world. I need to say the most expensive. And it all determines how you want it to sound. There's some mics that could be $10,000, like the Sony, I keep forgetting whichever one it is. Or you can get a cheap blue mic. It all just depends how you want it to sound. I got several mics. My main mic is a U87 AI. Love that mic. I use it like 90% of the time. But I still switch out mics. So I'm going to show you my mic collection. You can see what I got. And I'll explain to you why I use each one of them. So here goes my mic collection. I have AKG C414B um, ULS. I got this about mm, 12 years ago. A good friend of mine actually uh, let me get it for some work that I did uh, for him. And uh, I'm glad he gave it to me. Great mic. Great, great mic. Right here, the Avatone CV12. Man, this mic is freaking terrific for the price point. 500, 600 bucks brand new. It sounds fantastic. Love it. TM-103. Come on, man. Like just a dope mic and the last mic is the U87 AI love this mic just got it it's got that grayish tone to it love the mic loves how it sounds great mic okay that was my mic collection as you can see I got four really good mics one mic that is missing is I have a Rode NT1A and I have that at my studio downtown because it sounds great and it's cheap. It's only like 250 for the whole kit. Sounds great. You don't even have to really EQ it like that, but sounds great. Love that mic. But as you can see, I got the C414. I love that mic because of the body that it gives vocalists. Like it, it just does something to like bring out that mid tone out of people's vocals to me. Um, if you have a singer that's real light, it'll bring out that singer. Like it'll bring them bring that vocal up front to me. And you know, it's you know, it's not really too much top end heavy, you know, bottom end is kinda there a little bit, but it's just a great mic. Um I have the Avatone C V twelve, dope mic. I bought it because my homeboy kept telling me to get it. It's only six hundred bucks. I got it. That mic for that price point is blowing a lot of mics away. It just sounds great. Um, the TLM-103, I kept calling it the TM-103, my bad, I must have been listening to Jesus some earlier, I don't know, thug motivation, I don't know, but that mic is made by Newman, it's, it, it just sounds like a, a, a little brother to the U87, it's just a great mic, a lot of big records have been cut on that mic, great mic, and uh, last one is the U87, like I said before, I use that all the time. It's a great, great, great mic. Um, but I don't use it all the time just depending on certain singers because certain people have different voices and just certain mics sound better on certain people. So that's what it basically is. People, you know, people will tell you, oh, get the most expensive thing. You don't need the most expensive thing. I bought the U87 because I've always wanted one, number one. And number two, I knew it was kind of like an industry standard. And number three, I looked at it as an investment, and I love it because I could have bought shoes or clothes or whatever. I invested that in the mic, and it's already paid itself off already. Like, love that mic. But the other mics, I love as well because they, they do good for me as well. So, at the end of the day, it's about how you want the sound. Don't let none of these people come out and tell you, oh, you need this mic, you need this mic, you need that mic. You don't need it because at the end of the day, the song still has to be mixed somehow you might have to eq it a little bit might compress it a little bit you know 
the song still has to be mixed in properly. So at the end of the day, most of the mics sound pretty good. You have some high-end mics that sound a little bit better, has a little bit better components. But at the end of the day, it's all about how you want it to sound. So you can still make great records even with a cheap blue mic or an NT1A. Still make great sounds, great recordings. There's been a lot of really big records that have been made with really cheap mics and just really good engineers who know how to mix that stuff in. So at the end of the day, it's all about how you want the sound. Don't listen to everybody saying, hey, you need this mic, you need that mic. Just get the mics that you need, the mic or mics that you need, and create music. Because at the end of the day, it's about the content and it's all about the people like it. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, shout out, hit me up, whatever. I always answer people back and uh, make sure to keep watching more videos coming soon. Very soon. All right, see you next time.